Hey guys, ready? So, for the people that don't know what's going to happen right now, we are simply going to talk about what are the best comps for Mythic Plus, which is something that I genuinely believe that's going to be uh, asked a lot often in a chat. A lot of people have asked me, hey Petco, or like, hey buddy, what are the best comps for Mythic Plus? Today, I'm going to present you with three comps that I consider uh, superior following the release of the season one. Now keep in mind that these things could most definitely change. Shall there be more changes, you know, in the upcoming weeks, which I think there's going to be at least one more. But if I gotta be transparent with you, I'm going to give you a range comp, which I think is going to be the best likely. Melee comp following second and last but not least, hybrid comp. And I'll explain why. All right. Let's begin, chat. Should I should I start with a melee comp, range comp, or or hybrid? Chat. What do you want to talk about first? Melee, range, hybrid. I'm talking about like high keys right now, like all key levels. Worst to the best. Okay. Okay. Let's go with melee first. I think melee is second best. Okay. Okay. One second, chat. Let's go melee first. Melee specializations. So, for melee specializations, you guys already know. Uh, in terms of in terms of like uh, DPSs, there's two clear winners. There are two clear winners. There's nothing better than that. It's gonna be Acer Rogue and Frost Decay. There is nothing better than those two in melee. They're likely gonna be together because you're having double melee. You might wanna benefit. Uh, from a tank or a DPS that can give you battle shout. In which case, it's going to be Protection Warrior. Not only Protection Warrior is very durable, but they also do great damage and give battle shout to the whole team. Right? So that's a huge, huge, huge bonus. If you don't want to have Protection Warrior, there is an alternative. The solution here is to get yourself a Guardian. So, if this is the main pick, then I'm choosing Guardian as the second pick here. So, Guardian is probably going to be a second best choice for a tank. Uh, if you don't want to play with uh, Protection Warrior. I think in terms of like mob control, Warrior is way better. The 5% attack power could actually have better value than the verse 3%. Uh, unless, no, unless your team doesn't benefit from it. I don't think Brimaster is going to be in a conversation, although Brimaster damage is also going to be insane. Uh, I don't think I don't think they are as good as Protection Warrior, so I'm going to just tell you, tell you Prot Warrior or Guardian. In terms of healers, there are two choices right now. So, uh, going 5 melee could be a problem, so you don't really want to have a melee healer. That's why I don't, I don't think you're going to play with a Holy Paladin. For melee comp, you're going to have either Preservation Evoker or... Another cook take here, Restoration Shaman, which is going to be right here. Restoration Shaman is going to give you more damage because of the Wind Fury uh, profile. Sorry, Sky Fury, which is pretty much Wind Fury and Mastery for, for the whole team. So Mastery for the tank, Mastery for the Frost Decay, Mastery for the Acero. Um, I think whether you want to play with PF Walker or Restoration Shaman is completely up to you. This would likely depend on a final DPS slot. So the final DPS slot is actually could be a lot of things here. It most definitely could be... Um, where is it? Enhanced Shaman. So it could be Enhanced Shaman here. Which is going to be a great pickup likely the best pickup right now if you don't want to play enhanced shaman then there's obviously another option right there's um stuff like for example again this is this is very cooked but it also could be a monk because of the five percent um mystic touch although i think shaman is way better and if you are not playing that then the second best melee here probably is going to be fury warrior if you don't play um protection warrior Right, so either Enhance or Fury. If you're playing Protection Warrior, then you don't really care about Fury. And if you're playing Enhanced Shaman, then you want to play P Evoker. 
The only reason why I don't want to see 5 DPS is because you need at least one range that can bait stuff away. Hence why I think it's going to be either Restoration Shaman or P Evoker, if I have to choose. But for the sake of now completing this, it's going to be... This is going to be the, the melee comp. Um, so this is going to be the melee comp with alternative here being Guardian Druid as a tank. So Guardian Druid tank or as a hitter it could be... Um, it could be Shaman here in case you don't play... In case you don't play for example uh, Enhancer. That's why I believe... That's what I believe chat is going to be... Um, that's what I believe is going to be a melee comp. Again, this is a full melee comp. Once again, melee squad. Melee comp. In my opinion, this is, this is the, the second best comp right now. The second best. This is likely going to be better to play here on like low level keys, mid level keys. This is going to be way better than the caster comp. <clears throat> Keep that in mind. No, I, I don't think melee comp is gonna go augmentation. I think you're gonna go triple DPS. How's that? As a melee comp. All right. Now for the hybrid comps. Um. Now for the hybrid comp. If you guys ask me about it. No, Franz, I haven't done a range comp. I'll talk about that in like ten minutes from now. I'm I'm beginning. I'm talking about melees first. I'm talking about like hybrid second, and then third one is gonna be range. Chat, do you do you sincerely believe there's a better DPS to be placed here instead of those three? Let me let, let me hear your feedback. You guys believe there's any better DPS here than those three? Like it could be it could be for example a Windwalker monk instead of either of those three, but then it's again I don't know. If Monk replaces Enhanced Shaman, then you play for sure uh, Restoration Shaman. Havoc instead of Enhanced, sure, that could be the case. Right. Power for the CR, but you already have a CR though. Like, you already have a CR from uh, Frost Decay, so you don't need power in CR. Like, uh, you have a Bloodlust from the, the Shaman and the P Evoker, you know? Well, that's why it's called melee comp, because it's triple, triple melee. That's why, it's, that, that's why I'm making the three comps. One is melee, one is hybrid, one is ranged. Ugh. <sighs> Would it be Ellie instead of Enhance? Not really. I would say Enhance here could be a better pickup because they need more prior. You know? Like Enhance has better prior than Ellie. Ellie has just very strong AoE, but all of the like Frost Decay and Azeroth have very strong AoE too. So a bit of better prior. Also, uh, Enhance has better damage on like 3 to 6 targets probably than Ellie, which is going to be huge for them. So yeah. If you don't play Protection Warrior, you play Guardian Druid. I think that's the one thing. Anyway, <clears throat> let's move forward. Uh, this is the mid comp. Let's clear this one right now. Uh, reset page. Yeah. Reset, reset page, boys. Um, so this is going to be a hybrid comp. So for the hybrid comp, I'm going to go with Guardian first. Which is going to be, in my opinion, the, the best. I'm gonna go for Azarok again. I'm gonna go for Arcane and Augmentation. And here is gonna be uh where is it? Fuck. Where is it dude? Why am I blind? Oh here we go. The restoration shaman. So I'm going to explain to you why do I think this is the case. In terms of tanking, Vengeance DH is going to be your alternative choice. In terms of DPS here, you can have, uh, for example, Frost Decay. 
instead of um, Azarok. And for the Restoration Shaman, I don't think there's any replacement. Potentially a Paladin, but I think this is getting better. Okay, so... Why would I choose Garden Druid over Vengeance the Age on a hybrid comp? It's simple. I sincerely believe that Guardian itself with Mark of the Wild has a better um, ut utilization in a, f in, a, in, a, in a hybrid comp, right? Because not everybody can benefit from uh, Chaos Brand. Also, in terms of durability, I feel like Guardian could be a little bit better. And you're also the only tank out of these two tanks that has a CR. So Vengeance has no CR. Having no CR in your Mythic Plus comp, except for the NGCR, it's kind of scuffed. You could obviously run Paladin Healer, or you could run a, um, a Restoration Druid, but all of those are inferior to actually having yourself um, a, uh, you know, a Rest Shaman. So, I think, honestly, it could, it could go both ways, but I think Guardian Druid is way, way better in, in that comp. Shaman, no points here to discuss. The best hero currently. Wind Fury buff is out of, out of the question. It's insane for the whole group. Nice heals, competitive HPS and DPS. I uh, the only thing that I can I don't like about the restoration shaman here is gonna be your um uh like um external defensive cooldown, right? I, I mean I guess Earth Shield, but they don't have really like a strong ST external cooldown. Like for example, pain suppression or power in a sack or druid's bark, etc. That's what I believe. And you could play, for example, frost instead of arcane. I just like how the arcane burst and high single target can um can you utilize this better than frost, you know? Because frost frost like frost mage is more like methodical, um, a little bit more sustained in, in some cases. Has better appeal for the tank, but Arcane is like very strong burst oriented spec and a very good single target, which could be actually help you on high keys, especially for like high tyrannical keys. That's why I believe Arcane here could have better value than having yourself play another Frost Mage. I think overall Arcane is stronger right now for high keys. That's gonna be, in my opinion, the uh, third best comp in the world, which is gonna be played most in high keys. This comp itself is not really strong, by the way. Um, <clears throat> not really strong for low level keys. So mid level, high level keys. This is gonna be fantastic comp. Havoc DH is not gonna be as a feedback. Havoc DH does not have that value that uh, Asarok has. It just don't. It doesn't do enough DPS compared to Asarok right now. Chat, is there any feedback that you guys are gonna provide for me on uh, this pickup? What do you guys think? Would you guys replace any of the specs currently? Uh, I don't think NGCR is comparable to actual CR. NGCR is useful, of course. Or okay, in general, combat resurrection you can buy from the action house is good. Um, but I think um, an actual CR is actually very valuable. You guys would play Frost Decay for a rogue, okay? Like Frost Decay from a rogue, um, yeah, yeah, most definitely. That would be good. If you play, if you play, for example, with Vengeance DH, then Frost DK benefits more. So maybe that, yeah, yeah. CR from Wish, no, not from Wish, from Temu. That's the new meta. Temu is the new meta, dude. Think P Evoker has a chance to be good in high keys. I just made a comp with the P Evoker in it, really. Like uh, five minutes ago, I made a comp like that. Um, that's what I think about the hybrid comp. I think it's gonna be a great pickup for high keys. What about DK tank for a comp? Mm, I think DK tank can, can be solid as well. Again, you guys ask me about the best comps. If I gotta be honest, a lot of a lot of specs here are gonna be fine. There's gonna be a lot of specs in this chat that are gonna be fine. I can show you later. Any spec that you ask me later, I can show you what I think is gonna be the best the best play for you. Any spec, I can do that later. 
I'm gonna show you first of all my top three choices for like comps in Mythic Plus. Okay, um, let's talk about the best comp right now. Best comp for Mythic Plus. It's gonna be, in my opinion, caster composition. Okay, this is a full comp caster comp, but I'm gonna go for it. Oak, Vengeance, Arcane. Those are gonna be must to have. Now, for the healer, this could go either way. This can literally go either way. Uh, I don't think you're playing PA Walker. I don't think so. You're not great fit for here. You could play Restoration Shaman. It's gonna be great. But, uh, I would say this, alternative choice for this comp is gonna be Guardian Druid as a tank, for the healer is gonna be, um, where the fuck is it, a Restoration Druid as a filler for the, for the healer. And then as a DPS here, there's a several DPS picks that can be included here. You could have um, Ellie, you can have Aflok, you can have uh, even SP. Although I think Ellie and Aflok are going to be better. That's what I think is going to be the best performing comp. A full caster squad. Full caster squad. Not because you are not because you are the best as a standalone. Like if you compare if you compare yourself as a standalone specs, Azeroth and Frost Decay are miles ahead from you. But because you benefit from Chaos Brand and Arcade Intellect itself, like together the damage increase that you're gonna get is actually pretty good. So hence why I'm saying if you're playing Ellie. Instead of uh, a Restoration Shaman, then you might want to play with Druid. But the Druid doesn't really have a good HPS. So you could run into troubles in some Tyrannical Keys. If you play with Vengeance, it's not really as durable as, <clears throat> for example, Guardian. So you could run into issues of you dying. But because you have Augmentation, that, that, that helps you survive in some of the keys. But I think Kills Brand itself is gonna be quite valuable for the whole team because of the magical damage increase, you know. Um, so yeah, yeah, SP is the worst out of these ticks. I agree. I think it's gonna be it could be Af or it could be also uh, Ellie. That's what I think. So either either of the comps that I just discussed could be played on high keys. You can have a battle race. You play Guardian or Rested Red. Chaos card build is not bugged anymore. I know, I know, I know. I know. I think uh, they're playing right now Chaos card, pro probably. Guys, Affliction has a CR, Rest has a CR, and Guardian. That's why it, calls, it is called an alternative comp. Power and heal? Nah. No shot. Uh, Boomy doesn't have single target. That's what I think about uh, CR is combat resurrection. Patobres. BR, CR, same shit. That's what I think, guys, is going to be a very, very good comp. But again, a comp that you're going to probably play on high keys. It's not really a comp that you're going to play in like low level keys. Um, what do you guys think about it? Chat. What do you think about it? What is the, the feedback on that comp? You guys like it? Is there anything you could change? You hate it, okay. Good take, thank you, buddy. Uh...
Auto's, uh, Auto's mean is pretty much a alternative. Like, there is like a alternate. Like, you could play either Guardian's Root or Vengeance here. Or, for example, Red Shaman uh, like like Red Root. Like, for f this here, could be Ellie. It could be Afrilok. Or it could be SP as well. Although, I think SP is not really going to be the case here. I think it's going to be Af or Ellie instead. So yeah, like, look, think about that. Don't think about only about damage. You want to build a comp that, that can actually sync well together. Because Chaos Brand, Sky Fury, Arcane Intellect, those sync very well together. You know? So think about putting a composition that has all of the buffs and a CR and a good mob, mob control, you know? You could play Frost instead of Arcane, but I think Arcane is just going to be better for high keys. Low level keys, mid level keys, probably Frost to play. CR is uh, combo to resurrection. Guardian is fine. Avoc instead of augmentation is fine if you play low keys. Okay. Does it make sense, chat? Make sense? My comp, uh, okay, Fran. All right, uh, now you guys can tell me any of the specs you guys you guys are playing, and I can tell you what are the best comps, from, in my opinion. Holy Paladin. Okay, so because Holy Paladin is a melee, you don't want to play with a full melee squad. Chat, hold on a second. Keep keep the chat calm. You play with a Holy Paladin. That means you want to play either range comp. Or a hybrid comp. You don't want to play a full melee comp because then you're gonna be five millis. Then you're gonna suffer. It's gonna be painful. So, what do you actually play? What do you, what do you actually play here? Okay, uh, Fran, you, you can you can disable this. Don't worry about it. It's all good. For a tank, you can play absolutely anything. You could play absolutely anything. I would say probably the safest choice here for a tank is gonna be uh, Guardian or Protection Warrior. That's going to be probably the safest choice. Maybe Blood Decay. Maybe. Only maybe. Although, like, Paladin Blood Decay combo kind of weird. Not going to lie. Maybe. I would say, like, Warrior is going to be probably better. I'm going to begin by putting a Mage. It could be Arcane. It could be Frost. I'm going to put Arcane here. Um, A lot of people don't like to play with Augmentation, but... I'm just gonna say you could play, for example, like that. Uh, one arcane to be a, a, a solo mage, pros decay, and you can play with augmentation. Double range pretty much in, ensures that arcane doesn't get all the mechanics, and you can swap between, for example, different specs here. If you don't like to play augmentation, you can replace this, and instead you can choose, for example, something like um, assassination rogue, right? Alternatively, if you don't like assassination and if you don't like augmentation and you want to play something else, there's other options, for example. Like you can pick up any other existing uh, strong strong uh, melee out there. So, for example, here you could try to go for enhanced shaman, right? So you can snack the enhanced shaman in it instead of augmentation because it's going to give you a mastery buff as well. It's going to be quite valuable for you and also win fury win fury for the frosty game <clears throat> you could play you could play ellie as well instead uh most definitely you can i'm gonna put ellie here as well ellie could be paid with this because ellie fits the profile very well because you do have a nice AoE profile you don't need to have strong single target because Arcane is there. You also range, which can pretty much um, help Arcane Mage not being the solo targeted, you know, caster. So yeah, I think if I were Holy Paladin, that's going to be my best comp. I'm going to look for either of this. But if I do play Protection Warrior, then I most definitely would like to play with double melee here. 
like prot warrior double melee for example um <clears throat> as a rogue cross decay if i play garden druid then i can play with arcane and ellie or arcane and hands Arcane is not so useful because it does insane single target, has good damage profile, has insane utility for Mythic Plus. That's why I think it's really good. You know. That's what I think, chat. Uh, that's what I believe. I think so far we're looking at those to be the comps you want to focus on. I guess uh, play on, you know. A lot of people here will be disappointed, but sincere, I sincerely believe that's going to be the case. You could play... So, I'm not putting Astarok instead of uh, Frost Decay because I feel like Assassination Rogue here um, does not have a CR. If you don't have uh, Guardian Druid, then you play with a Prot Warrior, but then you have no CR. Actually, never mind, you have a CR because you play Holy Paladin. You could play Astarok instead of Frost Decay. Yeah, you could. you could. I've put I've put Astarok as a optional thing instead of instead of Frost Decay. Uh Kyo's brand got nerfed by 3%. Yeah, now it's 3% damage. And Hans will probably take that place to be honest with you. Looking to be slightly better than Ellie right now. Yeah, it could be. What do you think about Guardian? <coughs> uh Holy, Ellie, Frost Decay. Oh, yeah, looks good. I like it. Please Lee. You could play Subrook instead of uh, Asa? Nah, no way. No way. Asa Rokic is just better. Like, I'm trying to think of a world where, like, where would you play Subrook instead of Asa? I don't think you can. Like, chat, would you play Subrook over Asa anywhere? Nah. Maybe on like very low keys. Like heroic dungeons maybe. I don't know. Maybe on like very low keys, you know, when things die so quick. I don't know actually. I'm not I mean, I'm not about PvP dude. I'm talking about like actual, you know. Actual shit. Unholy Decay, I think it's not as good as uh, Frost Decay. You know. SP, we, we already, we already talked about SP. With Shadow Priest, it's going to be Caster Comp, pretty much. Exactly what we talked about last time. Alright, chat, give me one more. Give me one more. So, if you're playing, let's say, Fury Warrior, okay. Immediately, the best tank becomes Guardian. So, Guardian, Fury Warrior. And Fury Warrior swings the best with, like, a melee comp. So, you want to have, for example, something like... Uh, um, you're getting yourself as a rogue and frost decay frost decay and now here is the here is the, the dilemma you will probably gonna go with preservation evoker because you played triple melee but as a substitute you could have Restoration Shaman here, likely, if you don't want to play P Evoker. The Resto Shaman is going to give more damage to the whole team because of the Wind Fury. Or, if you don't like that, you can remove Frost DK and instead get Enhanced Shaman in that comp. If you have Enhanced Shaman instead of Fury, instead of uh, Frost DK, then you're going to get yourself P Evoker. If you have, if you have Resto Shaman here, then you don't need enhance, you're gonna play for the game. I think that's gonna be the best comp probably for there. And keep in mind, PF Walker is really good when a, when a caster comp. Oh, sorry, on a, in a melee comp. Like, you're playing triple melee or like even, even double melee, bro. Like, PF Walker is insane. Uh, Shadow Priest goes in a caster comp. No need to discuss, I already discussed it. Affliction Lock, Shadow Priest, Demon Lock, Destro Lock. Balance Druid, all of this goes in a caster comp. Death, Death Evoker, Fire Mage, uh, Frost Mage, Frost Mage uh, Arcane as well, all go to the caster comp. Disc Priest is just very hard. Alright chat, 
Let's do one more. One more and we gotta get into the game because we gotta grind. There, there is a new grind in game, chat. There is a new grind in game that we gotta do. It's called the AI grind. Monk, immediately going for protection warrior. Immediately, as we speak. Immediately. Um, we're going for the rest shaman here. Okay. Um, with a monk, you wanna play with this one and frost decay that's gonna be it's gonna be the best comp for this for this guys full melee squad with uh restoration shaman now an option here would be you could play for example uh guardian druid if you don't like protection warrior and enjoy mark of the wild but you, you already have a cr from the from the frost decay so you don't need a cr Frozen Decay, I already have a CR though. You don't need a CR from the, from the Guardian Druid. So that's why the 5% uh, battle shot here could be huge. You're getting also a Wind Fury buff from the Restoration Shaman. If you do decide yourself that you don't want to have, for example, Resto Shaman, then the option here is going to be P Evoker, which is going to be right here. If you're playing P Evoker in that case, then you want to remove Frost Decay and play instead Enhance. So this is gonna be an option, you know. So no rest to shaman, then play P Evoker, but then you gotta remove one to get the Wind Fury in because Wind Fury, sorry, Sky Fury itself is gonna be very strong buff. So you wanna look for the Sky Fury here, most definitely. Um, yeah, that's what I think. But I think Monk itself is gonna be a solid choice. You specifically wanna play with classes that can benefit the most out of your debuff. You know, the Restoration Druid itself doesn't really have the strong HPS. So on a high level keys, you might struggle in some tyrannical bosses, but low to mid level keys, you're going to have no problem. <laughs> but again, uh, both P Evoker and the rest of Shadow have better mob control than you. So I keep that in mind. Also, if you're playing Guardian Druid, you don't, you don't play Resto. Um, updated tier list is gonna be up on Icy Veins um, <clears throat> by tonight. Chat, I'm gonna upload every single highlight of today's stream on YouTube. I'm gonna up upload the compositions in YouTube and the tier list on YouTube by tomorrow. The comps are coming tonight. Tier list tomorrow for the YouTube. By tonight on Icy Veins should be updated everything. Everything. 